हेलो गाइज दिस इज वीरेन कुमार सो इन दिस वीडियो सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द डेमो अबाउट द सोनार स्कैनर विद द मेमन प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो सपोज वी हैव ए मेमन प्रोजेक्ट एंड दैट मेमन प्रोजेक्ट आई वांट टू स्कैन थ्रू द सोनार स्कैनर एंड देन आई वांट टू पब्लिश द स्कैनिंग रिपोर्ट ऑन द सोनार सर्वर ओके दिस इज द फ्लो विच आर वी वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस वीडियो and uh, the agenda you can see on my screen that first we will set up a maven java project so we will go from the start and then you will uh, come to know what we are going to do in this video session and then secondly i will explain uh, the source java files and the test ng classes like what is the difference between the source java files and the test ng classes and how we are going to scan these classes after that i will explain the pom.xml file with all the dependencies in the plugins of course uh, we are using the maven project so there is a one pom.xml file so we need to have some dependencies and the plugins that will capture the scanning or the coverage report and that coverage report will be useful to send over the sonar uh, web server and then i will explain the settings.xml file under the .m2 folder so we will have the m2.m2 folder in the maven project where we are storing all the dependencies so there always is the settings.xml file so how this file is useful for the sonar cube after that we will start the sonar server how we can start the sonar server you will come to know and then i will run this command to scan the maven project in my previous video when i was scanning the non maven project it, that was the very simple project and there is the different way we are scanning that project but here we have the maven project and we want to scan through the sonar scanner so the command will be different for the maven project and then we will see that login to the sonar web server we will access the sonar web server and there i will show the reports the coverage reports and the quality of the codes and everything so we will see on the sonar web server and that is the final demo uh, motive to how we can access on the sonar web server and the explanation about the sonar maven web project on the sonar web server so this is the agenda for this today's video and you can relate according to your requirements so this is a very important uh, video for the maven project okay so now first i'm going to switch on my eclipse so you can see this is my eclipse and i already have created a one maven project okay to save the time so i already have the maven project so first let me explain this one so if you don't know how to create the maven project you can go to the file new and the project okay then you can select the maven project and you say next and after that you can use the default location there and finally i you select this one and when you say next and you can select the project name and you can say finish as i already have the one maven project so when you say finish it will create the structure of this maven project in this format okay so there src main java folder will be there and one src test java folder will be there and the your jre system library what jre system you have selected during the creation of this maven project and these are all the maven dependencies so this dependency will come from the pom.xml file i'll explain it later so first i will go to the src main java okay under this src main java i have a one package and under this package i have the two java files so i am going to scan this one login pom.java file so you can see uh, this is the one java file so you can assume that this is the developer's file the developer has written a one code okay this is the code which is written by the developer and this java file uh, store or created by the developer side okay we don't have the access this on or this uh, source file okay and second package or the folder we have the src test java file where we are writing our test cases okay so under this we have the one package and in this we have the java file and under this one we have the one test so so this is the test ng test case okay at the rate test annotation 
this is what we are working as a uh, automation engineer okay so from the automation test engineer side uh, we have the one test class okay under this test class we have written some logic so this is the logic which i have written to explain you okay and then uh, this is the first test cases okay so i am going to call what uh, suppose i am going to call this login form code okay this is a java code and this is the test ng tester code okay so when i will execute this test and then this code will run so if you are in the automation you have automated the few uh, tests skip then you can relate like we are just writing the test cases what is the logic using the uh, web applications and when the test cases is running then in the back end the source code is executing okay the build is executing and according to the source code the you know application is working okay so let's assume here that this is a source code and this is the test case code okay so if you want to see like how it is working so normally what we will do you can go to you run this test ng test as a simply and you can see what is the result okay so the one pop up came to explain this one okay and this pop up uh, will come to ask you the login and the user id and you can see the running test case is the pass and if you want to run this simply this code then you can run as a java application so you can see when we are running this code as a java application so you can see this is the login form when the username put and the user login so this is the login form i want to um, test in the sonar cube server okay so i think you understood what is the difference this is a source file this is a test ng file now i am coming to this pom.xml file this is very important to work with the maven project and the sonar cube server so you have a look and understand is very carefully okay so when you have the default pom.xml file then first what you have to do you need to add the properties okay in the properties you can um, check this coding okay so you don't worry i will provide this uh, the full disk details in the description so you can, can copy paste but still you need to understand okay what are all the uh, configurations i have done in the pom.xml file and then the this statement is very important statement okay so this sonar coverage jcoco xml report path so this report path you can provide in the target folder okay this is your target under the target folder there is a one coverage report folder and under this coverage report you have the jcoco xml file so this is the path which is very important and that path we will use to send this report to the sonar web server okay so make sure you have the clear vision and the idea about this line okay and then the java binary files okay you can provide all these informations under the properties in the pom.xml file rest uh, the same information selenium java version you know cucumber jvm if you are working with the vdd cucumber you know uh, so cucumber core versions cucumber test ng and jerkin language so i am i am working with the vdd cucumber so i will show you the vdd cucumber uh, with the maven project okay so i have everything you can also work with the test ng okay the second plugin which we want to add is that jcoco plugin okay this is the jcoco plugin is there okay you can google uh, what is jcoco plugin and you will get this plugin over there if not you can take it from the description okay you can comment me if you want this full pom.xml file okay i will provide you so this jcoco mvn plugin this is a version latest version for this one and these are the execution part okay the, then the goal will be the prepare agent and and the report package and the goal there are the different goals and for this one a jcoco plugin there are the different packages in the pages and id and the goal again so this is the data file this configuration is very important okay so this data file is target slash jcoco.exec data file it will take 
and what is the output directory this is the input directory okay we are providing as a data file and this is the output directory okay so target slash coverage report okay so uh, when we are providing the output directly what does it mean is that under the target folder there uh, one more folder coverage report will be generated okay under this coverage report folder we will have the jcoho xml file okay and this is agent destinations you can provide all this information and this is also the coverage plugin okay the profile under the profiles you can provide the coverage profile this is the third configurations you have to do in the pom.xml and all these you have to provide this i will explain like why we use this one so this basically we use to uh, segregate the uh, report uh, like if you are running the multiple feature file or the multiple modules so in that situation so we need to club the all the reports in the one report in the jcoco so that time we need to add this one so this page is required i will explain you uh, in the next video why we but you need still need to keep it there in the pom.xml file so th these are the changes you can you know do in the, your pom.xml file so now coming to the um, uh, the fourth point explain the settings .xml file under .m2 folder so now uh, you can go to the m2 folder okay so the m2 folder will be your um, users and dot m2 and then you have the settings dot xml file okay so you can open this settings dot xml you can go to there in dot m2 folder and there you will find the settings dot xml okay okay so when you come down then you will have the plugin groups so under the plugin groups you have the one plugin group so you need to provide this plugin okay this is basically like we want to scan the code from the developer side and from there we want to fetch the coverage report to our tester side okay so for that we need to have this plugin group and the one more changes you have to do in settings.xml is that you need to provide the sonar host url so where is your sonar going to host so under this profile you have the id and activation is the true and properties sonar host dot url so http colon double slash local host colon nine triple zero okay this is the url where we are going to access the sonar web server so this setting is done then next point is the start sonar web server 